This person possibly knows that they're not fully healed over something not fully being over between you two, but at the same time, they don't care about that because they're not going to use their unhealed nature against you. This person knows that they're, that, that they're unhealed, that they didn't heal, but at the same time, like they, they don't want to give a connection up is what it looks like with the six of cups. Somebody's intuition keeps on telling them to go for something to possibly leave a situation because it's not, it's no longer doing something for them with the ace of pentacle diverse. And this person could be at a long distance from you, could be three hours away, one to two to three hours away for some of you. You could be a queen of cups, lady. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to be a lady. Lady. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and get more message. Like, there's a situation that's not fully old between you and somebody from the past here. But... I'm also getting if this individual was a return, there wouldn't be near as much toxicity as there once was, even though this individual may not fully be healed. Yeah, the seven of swords here. Clarify the seven of swords. This is this could possibly be a twin flame. Or a soulmate for some of you. Hmm. This person is definitely, uh, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, I don't have to be. Looks like to me with the Seven of Swords, uh, being clarified with the lovers here. There's a lot of, uh, this individual is having a lot of thoughts about you. About trying to get away from another situation that they really don't want to be involved in. Six of Wands here. This individual may be sneaking around on. If some of you out there are a public figure, they, they may be on like watching you secretly. This person is definitely a supporter of yours. They don't hate on you. They actually love you. This person from the past actually loves you. This person could have thought that you was avoiding them or whatever with the Seven of Swords. Like, they, they, they could have thought you was avoiding them or whatever. <clears throat> what else is going on with this connection from the past? The Sun card, Leo Energy. So there's someone right here that uh, is not really avoiding you with the seven of swords energy. They're more so smiling because they know that you may be picking up their energy <laughs> with the seven of swords energy. If some of you that out there have a gut hunch that, that if you have a twin flame or something that may be lingering around like your media or whatever, like something on the media with the six of wands, your intuition's on point, and they may know that you may know that. With the seven of cups reverse. <clears throat> yeah, this is somebody that you're not talking to, but you can feel them intuitively with the high priestess. So this is definitely somebody that you're not speaking to. Like I said, they may be going through a lot of difficulties right now at uh 
look like to me, they may be with somebody that may not get them intellectually, that may be boring them. I'm getting a lot of boredom energy. This person is bored elsewhere. But the excitement for you hasn't ran out. The sun card can represent a new beginning, but a lot of high vibrational energy with a lot of excitement. That's all about happiness, the ultimate happiness card. So this individual may still be excited to see you or whatever. Or excited to even just have thoughts about you. But yeah, this is someone right here that you may not be talking to. They're definitely still a lot. So we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here, upright position. So this is someone right here that, with the Nine of Swords being in reverse, right after the King of Cups energy, this is clarifying. So this is somebody that you may not be speaking to. You may not be speaking to a King of Cups or a Queen of Cups. But there's still a lot of feelings there. There's still a lot of intensity there. That connection is still there. Ten of Wands. This could be very burdensome to somebody with the Ten of Wands energy. That could be very burdensome. I'm also getting a lot of moving energy too with the Ten of Wands. This connection is a burden for this individual because they still feel very strongly toward you is what I'm getting. Why is this burdensome to this person? Judgment. Hold on, y'all, that's too many cards. I thought it was just a judgment card. Why is this, bur why is this connection burdensome to this person with a ton of wands? Five of Swords reverse. Because they know that they, they lied and cheated and, and did something underhanded to you in the past here. With the Five of Swords reverse, but there's no conflict though. They're also burdened at the fact that they do want to have a peaceful resolution to possibly return back to you. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Get this out there. There we go. But anyways, there's a lot of energy here with the Five of Swords. Reverse. Some about a peaceful resolution. A lot of conflict ending. This person is also burdened at the fact that you give them a peace of mind and you're not being there like them. You're not being there for this person literally is a burden burden to them because it looked like to me, you're the only one that knows how to pull the center out of their head here with the five of swords reverse. It, it's, it's almost like it's, it's comforting to this individual at you understanding them and seeing through the lies. Or if they try to do something like you instantly know how to bring this conflict to an end. And this is burdensome to them because they no longer have you around. Because you seem to be the only person to get this person. Knight of Sword reversed, as I'm saying that. <clears throat> they also know that you're not pushy for them to be back in your life. Like you're not a pushy person. This would be like pushy, demanding, etc. But it's in reverse. They also know that you're not a pushy person to get them to want to talk to you. This is a very relaxed type of energy here. Look like to me, this person wants to work with you with the Three of Pentacles here. They want to work through things with you and talk things out with you because they know that you wouldn't be in this, this aggressive type of energy here to try to get them away from you 
Even though they could have betrayed you. Does this person still have feelings for this person? The emperor reversed. They could feel like they lost control. Let me clarify this emperor reverse. Clarify the emperor reverse. We have the page of sword. Hold on, y'all. This is this too many cards, bro. I can't stand when that happens. This is the card that fell out. The hangman. Yeah, Aries Pisces energy. Clarify this emperor reverse for how this image may feel as of now. Clarify the emperor reverse. Six of swords want to turn over. They feel like they, they have no control or you don't have, like, they can either feel one or two ways. So they can feel like they cannot control you from moving on or from you just smoothly sailing on to calmer waters. Or, or they may feel like they don't want to try to control the way that they feel about you anymore and to actually come forward with the Six of Swords here. Because they know that this is not going to do anything to you. This is just bringing more peace in your life. And this individual can sense that. King of Pentacles here. They feel like you're very stable. You're very protective and very secure in yourself. This individual may feel like you're very wise. With the hermit, they also know that they feel like you're alone. With the hermit card. They feel like you're very wise. Virgo energy. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune here, but their feelings sometimes could be, they feel like they want to start a new cycle without manipulation with the Magician Reverse here. They want to start something new with the Wheel of Fortune. This individual may also feel like it's destined for them to be with you, and they don't need to control how they, they really feel about you. They need to just come forward and literally admit to it. And instead of beat around the bush or, or act like there's nothing there when there is something there. So yeah, this individual feels like they cannot control the flow of the universe here. Something about the flow of the universe and the flow of things that are meant to be. When they could have tried to control that in the past. But this right here ended them up in a situation where it could have possibly got them with somebody that could have just had them uninspired. It, it could have distracted them from their spirituality side. And this right here is put this sentiment in despair, believe it or not. They haven't really been saying anything to anybody, but this is how they feel. They don't feel like this other situation is meant for them. They don't feel like that's their path. They feel it's destined for you and this individual to actually be together. And with the will of fortune coming out in the upright position, this right here is all about karmic lessons learned. Because if they keep on trying to control something or trying to do something what they did in the past, all it's going to do is fall back off on them like it did whenever y'all last talked. This person also finds it's extremely hard to change the fact that things are not really over between the two of y'all here. Even though there hasn't been no communication. They feel things ain't going to change with them until they're in the presence of you and things can actually shift like it's supposed to. So this individual may have some feelings that they feel like they're meant to be with you. Especially with the tower card being in reverse and the death card being in reverse. It's all about somebody that don't want to give up on a connection, even though you may not be talking. And they may see that as a form of that's not really right on their end to, to project that towards you. But it's not all the way projection because they want to take some form of action to actually do something about this connection here. Instead of sit there to try to control something that's just going to keep on reversing and literally stagnating their life. 
And they're, they're not really too happy with that. Their life being stagnated, wherever this individual may be. This individual is definitely picking up some nudges here with the will of fortune that if they try to do things in the past and try to prevent this connection from expanding, this right here is literally having them descend. And that's not how it's supposed to go. So somebody from your past is literally having a, a, a challenged type of decision. And it looked like to me their decision is literally set on being back with you. Now this ain't going to resonate with everybody, okay? Because some of the individuals from the past, like they may still, even though this, some of you, this may be a twin flame here. They still may, may be doing the same thing over and over and over and not really want to make any progression or to progress forward with actually being with you. But for some of you, you may have an individual from the past here that knows that their feelings are never going to change when it comes to you. Even though you may not be talking, they may be living their own life. They feel like th this is just right. They feel it's the right time and to do something about this connection instead of just sit there and, and act like nothing is going on with them when it really is. It's been going on for a while. The last three weeks or so, this individual has had thoughts of escaping another situation, etc. On They may not be being very honest about doing that to this person or this other situation. Escaping that situation. Like it may result in some form of dishonesty, but they know that there's a reason for that. And it looks like the, 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 the will of fortune is on this individual side. Like they may not be able to tell this individual or these other people what they really want out of life because they know that they're going to judge them. And this individual may not be ready to speak up for themselves because they're already in a toxic situation as it is. This, like, like this individual literally feels like they're being held back. They feel like they're being held back. Excuse me, y'all, my stomach growling. I don't know if y'all heard that. It did it a few times. So, this individual is definitely in the energy to where they... Usually this would be like grudge energy or whatever, but I'm not really getting that, though. It's all about... Somebody not being able to, to, to let go. But it's not in a toxic way. They feel like this connection is never going to change. They feel like their feelings for you is never going to change. And this person may be taking some time to themselves with the hermit card here to see that. That you not being around to try to dictate how this individual is supposed to feel about you or sitting there trying to talk them into being with you. This right here is giving them a lot of clarity. That okay, well, why do they feel that way? I'm not really getting the fact it's because they're bored with this other situation or a lot of boredom. This right here, like this, like this has been, even when this individual was single, they still had that. So something's definitely not wanting to leave this individual alone, but it's not in a toxic way. Something's meant to change here. And look like, I mean, this individual may want to travel. They could be thinking about like whenever something about their relative or something, their dad, something about a father figure could want to travel somewhere where you may be located at with the three of wands. And that right there, if y'all are at a long distance from each other, that would be the perfect time and for you to actually meet this person, like y'all two to actually see each other. Their, their dad may be from somewhere where they're close by you, like an hour, two, three hours away from you. But yet, this individual may be longer than that. Like, 
a long ways away from you, at least 10 hours or more away, some about a father figure. This is exciting to this individual, believe it or not. Yeah, they, they have had this in their mind. They're not letting nobody know. Yeah, it's like they're impatient. Like they're they're ready to fucking do something. Page of Swords here. They're, they're, they're ready for that. This individual may be ready to travel somewhere with one of their relatives, either a father figure or could be with somebody else. Could also be a mother figure. It's like that, like they don't like they're not gonna be in this board, and it's like, oh yeah, I'm ready for that. Like the horse get like they're very excited. But they don't know how you would feel about that though. Let me go ahead and clarify that. Why am I getting one of their relatives may want to travel where you may be at? The Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're thinking about this a lot. Ace of Cups. Could be an air sign parent for some of them. A Libra Gemini Aquarius parent they could have. Because they feel like, they feel stuck and alone where they're at. They feel alone. But they're, they're definitely thinking about it. Like their thoughts won't leave them alone about traveling is what I'm getting. But this could be with an air sign parent of theirs or a relative that could be talking about that. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. Their parent could have went through something to do with, uh, it looked like to me, two people here could have went through a bad breakup with the Ten of Cups reversed. But this is following right along with if this is a parent that has recently gotten divorced or, or separated from somebody with a ten of cups reverse, this is literally happening to this part. This person literally having the same thing happen to them. And that's the proof. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the Eight of Cups here. That's all about going on a travel, a journey with the Eight of Cups energy. We have the two of swords reversed. So yeah, somebody definitely uh, wants to move away. Yeah, look at that chariot card. As soon as I said that, this is a travel card. Cancer energy. So somebody definitely wants to travel away. One of their parents may be depressed is what I'm getting, like highly depressed. They weren't with the right person to start with here. This individual felt like one, one, if this is a relative of theirs or a parent of theirs, whether it's a mother or father figure, they felt like they couldn't be themselves in this marriage or whatever this is or this connection. And the same shit happening to them. They feel like they can't be themselves. Oh, but they will be. Because that ain't the right person for them to start with. <laughs> you don't see <laughs> You ain't supposed to be in a connection like that, bro. You're supposed to feel at home. Around somebody, you ain't supposed to be. Oh, well, I can't say this. I can't talk about this. What the, you know what I'm saying? This read is already rubbing me the wrong way. I'm not. Let, let me just get off of here. I do not like that energy. Somebody said the hell with it. Said you know what? I'm done. With eight or so, I'm done. This ain't doing shit for this person at all, or doing stuff for this person either. That's like the both of these individuals are, are receiving a wake-up call is what I'm getting. To get out of something that they feel like they can't 
they, they can't even say the wrong, like if they say something, let's say like a, a cuss word or something, they're judged for it immediately. They ain't the right person for them. Fuck. Come around me, you can say all the cuss words you want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm doing? Hey, hey, you cussing. You cussing. <laughs> That's it. I'll be joking with him like that. I'll be like, oh, I, I, you cussing. Oh, fuck. You, you cussing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You cussing. <laughs> Good. Good. Cuss some more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> cuss some more. You want to cuss in the car on the way over here? Do it. Do it. Let it all out your system. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good. <clears throat> what was that again? What was that again? You said what? What was that? Oh, that's a cuss word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, fuck, I didn't know that was, uh, something was wrong with that. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't cuss it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let, yeah, let's not, let's not say that again. You know, that, it's a bad word. It's a cuss word. <laughs> well, damn, I, just, I guess I can't just say anything now. <laughs> oh, that's right. I, I just cussed again. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Double on the curse words, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody feels like they can't even like open their mouth and say certain things while being like not being disrespectful, but just being themselves. This individual felt like they couldn't be themselves in a connection. And this is possibly why they got out of it with the Eight of Swords, but they can't seem to, like, this. these memories don't want to leave this either this person's parent alone, and it, it could be torturing them mentally. It could be causing a lot of PTSD to this person, too. That's what I'm getting. Nah, bro, it's time for, for a fresh start. This person could originally be where you're from, too, with the Six of Cups. Like either the same city, the same state, they could originally be from where you're at. And they may be returning to their hometown. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm seeing here in the imagery of the cars. Like where they feel like they feel like things ain't gonna change where they're at. Until they actually make a move and, and just go somewhere that's different. Look like to me, this individual could literally be going back to where their original was born at. Until they left a long time ago. That's kind of what I'm getting here with the Six of Cups energy. And we got the Three of Wands all about traveling. This would be literally traveling back to where they originally grew up at or they was raised at. Because wherever this individual may be, like there, there's a father figure in despair too with the King of Swords reverse. They're in despair. Could be an Aquarius with the star called reverse or a Libra or Gemini that may be in despair. They're not too happy either. Okay, so that's what I'm getting here too. Like this King of Swords energy here in reverse ain't too uh, happy. They feel held back too. This could literally be somebody's daddy, bro. That's going through that. Yeah. And 
their daughter or son is going through the same damn thing with the page of Pentacles. And they're being guided out of that with a temperance card. They're being guided away from that situation. I'm telling you, brother, if you can't be yourself in the presence of somebody, that person really don't love you for who you are. I'm going to tell it like it is, too. Whoever this king of swords the verse is, this could be somebody's father figure. That may be an air sign dad. Man, if, if you feel like you can't be yourself around your significant other, that person really don't love you, dude. They don't care about you. Especially if you feel judged continuously. Even if you may have a dark side, like even if you may have a negative side and you have a bad day. I'm channeling PTSD here too. This individual literally don't know how to literally calm you down from like you could have fought in a war a long time ago. I'm, I'm getting heavy PTSD vibes and this individual right here, them feeling like they can't be themselves literally just makes them feel oppressed in a way and that right there is really getting to this individual and they had enough of that. They had enough of that. There's a lot of PTSD energy going on here. <clears throat> this King of Swords reverse feels held back too. Whoever this is with the Four of Pentacles, they feel held back too. There's somebody way, way, way better out there. I promise you that. You probably can meet somebody where you originally from with the Six of Cups here. You could probably meet somebody that would literally be your match. Whoever this person is, bro, this is uh uh. Uh uh. Literally trying to make this King of Swords reverse. I'm getting that very heavily. Trying to make this King of Swords reverse to make him feel powerless. Like he has no voice of his own. Like he could just say one thing and he's judged for it. It's like he feels like he has to be fully quiet with the eight. Uh uh. Uh uh. uh that ain't love, bro. That ain't love. Mm -mm. That is nothing close to love. Love is where you can freely express yourself and to actually be in a happy environment to where you don't feel like somebody is, like you're walking on eggshells. Basically. You know what I say? Crush them egg shells. Crush them. Step on them harder. <laughs> Make all the noise you want. <laughs> While walking away from that toxic ass connection. That's what I say. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> this King of Swords could also be saying that too. You know what? Fuck it. You don't like me, I don't like you either. Good. Nobody likes him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but guess what? The best part about it is there's somebody that's going to love you that you didn't receive from this person that may not like you. Good. Good. <laughs> there's somebody else out there that is going to love you, not just sit there and make you feel unloved or disliked because you want to be who you want to be. That's how I'm viewing this, this energy right here. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, like you're, if, if you cuss a lot or if, if you want to be a certain way, you can be that way. That's your true character. That's your true persona, you know?
And if, if, if this is a vet here, this individual, I obviously don't know how tough it is to be out there, if you want my honesty. This person possibly didn't know how to manage their PTSD episodes whenever they have them. Like, like flashbacks, like they'll just get in their head sometimes and get very depressed with the eight of swords. This person didn't give a shit about a damn, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't even have to know this king of swords reverse person to actually care. That's some bullshit. Somebody literally feels like they have to be oppressed with the Eight of Swords, and yet they have a lot of intellect, like in intelligence. Like they have a lot of intelligence, very intellectual. And it's like this individual is angry at the fact that they feel like they have to hold back their true character in. In regards to their significant other, literally sitting there trying to make them out to be a problem because they want to be who they want to be, and yet they feel like they can't fully be that person. I'm going to tell you right now, but the minute you feel like you're walking on eggshells or whatever, or you feel like this uncomfortable energy to where you have to believe in what this person wants you to believe in, you're not with the right person, bro. You're not... They got somebody out there that will fully accept you for who you are. And they got people out there that are strong, like people like me, for instance, that will literally inspire you to be yourself. You can be yourself. There's people out there that will literally accept you for who you are, exactly who you are. They will literally enjoy the hell out you saying a few cuss words. They'll cuss right along with you. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you think I care what people say whenever, like, they be like, man, this man is weird how he says that. Well, good. I'll be even more weirder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I keep on saying it over and over and over and over and over. What are they going to do? It's freedom of speech is protected by the First Amendment. It's free speech. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you want me to do? Sit there and make a whole video, two hour long video of me saying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Keep on saying that. It's protective speech. <laughs> it's the first amendment. You know what I'm saying? The first amendment, protected speech, freedom of speech. The man has the right to freedom of speech. So let's leave the guy alone. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that, that, that's just my passionate side, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to spook everybody, I ain't trying to spook anybody out of here, even though I probably not scared like 50,000 people away, but who cares about that? Let them get scared, let them stay scared, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, getting back to this read here, you have the right to be yourself. You have the right to be yourself. I find I channel better whenever I'm standing. You have the right to be yourself. You feel like someone's literally trying to oppress you in a way to where you feel like you cannot express what's really bothering you or whatever. And that right there is not the right connection for you. Whoever is dealing with this, right? It don't even have to be a king of swords, an air sign master that may have been married to somebody or could have had a family with somebody. And yet things just ain't working out too well for this guy. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be yourself. Look like me, this individual wants to make this individual feel like they have no, no right to, 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 to say what they want to say or to, to basically talk. Like they literally have to watch. Like if, if they if they want to cuss, they have to think about what they're going to say. Like if they want to say a cut, they hold back deliberately. And this is really irritating. This came so to you. Like this individual may. I'm definitely channeling that with the King of Swords verse, but this is irritating this guy. 
with a king of swords burned up. Like, this guy irritated. And he's been holding things in until he possibly revealed this with the moon reversed. He could have revealed that to somebody. And actually told somebody what was really going on with him. Yeah, this is not just uh, speech oppression. This is all about mental oppression too. You're being oppressed spiritually and mentally. And it's your right to not be oppressed. Like if, if you feel like you want to cuss, bro, you can cuss. I mean, I don't see no problem with it. I mean, I know they got respect for the elders or people around in the household. But I mean, if if that's who you are, I mean, I grew up around cussing me, to be honest with you. I grew up around, even though they didn't like me cussing whenever I got old enough to where I could cuss, I still grew up around that because they both accepted each other for who they were. Even though they had disagreements between each other, they still was themselves. You didn't have one of the ones telling them, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. They both accepted each other, my mom and dad. Even though they had disagreements, they both cussed like a sailor around me. I grew up around it, but don't mean that I'm going to turn out like to be which I do cussing myself, you know what I'm saying? But there's nothing against the law. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, it, it could be a bad impression. Like, you could literally be a bad influence. Some people could look at it as a bad influence, but... I don't look at it that way. I mean, it's it's right to freedom of speech. If somebody wants to be themselves and that's who they are, don't impress that. You know? <laughs> that's the way I look at the situation. That's what I got to say about like somebody was going to tell me, oh, oh, you cussing or whatever. Bro, I literally got with somebody a long time ago that told me that they don't like men with beards on their face. You know what I did? I let my beard grow purposely and they left me. I said, good. That's the, that's the main reason why I grew up to start with. <laughs> I love myself, bro. I don't know, I don't know who the fuck. You trying to say, well, I don't like uh, people with uh, chest hair and beard. <laughs> You are obviously judging the wrong damn thing to start with. You can't judge a book by its cover. You got you to gotta literally see what's on the inside of the spirit. You think I'm going to sit there and literally transform, de deform instead of transform, like deform my character because you don't know who the hell you are. Like you can't even have a proper judgment upon someone's character rather than the physical level. Like you much rather judge off the physical features than someone's character. The beard look pretty damn good on me. You don't have to like it. That's what I say about it. Which, which I, I don't really look at that to start with. I mean, yeah, it's good to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want a beard or if you want to put whatever it is on you. But I mean, I'm not going to sit there and deal with that. Now they have another side of the situation. Like if someone's not being themselves and they're trying too hard to be something they're not, that right there could be understood like someone to transform them out of that. As I said, hey, you don't have to put up this front as if you're trying to be something that you're not. You could be yourself. You could be natural. You know? And I remember at one time I had a problem with a gap in my teeth. I used to be insecure about that, you know? But now I don't even care about it. I don't care about that because I don't make me who I am. <clears throat> but I, I'll tell you, I had a few people say, oh, I don't like uh, men with hair on their chest or whatever, or men with facial hair, we're good. That means I'm not the right one for you. <laughs> it goes both ways, we ain't right for each other. <laughs> you think I give a shit about that? I don't leave on my face just because stay mad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta like it. Ain't nobody said yet. Like it. <laughs> Bro, I'm 
I'll tell you. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm telling you. I'll be right back, y'all. Maybe. I'm back, y'all. But anyways, uh, getting back to what I was saying when you read here. When it comes to being itself, y'all got to excuse the paint job, by the way, y'all. We ain't even focus on that. But anyways, getting back to the read here with the King of Swords reverse, I'm definitely getting the energy of where someone feels like they can't fully be themselves. And now they may be single with the Ten of Cups reverse and they have the Eight of Swords here, but it's going... Both a father figure is going through it possibly, and they have somebody else. Either their son or daughter is going through the same damn thing. <clears throat> this is a spiritual awakening that these two may be going through with the moon card reversed, and it may it may be hitting them kind of hard. Like, this is a very harsh realization with the tower reverse and the death card reverse. It's all about inability to change, but in a, in a positive way, in a sense. But this is, it had to take for these elements to get in despair, to actually be faced with a situation where they have no choice but to see what has really been done this whole time that wasn't changing. And there's someone out there that will literally accept them for who they are and love them for who they are. And it definitely ain't these individuals that these people are with here. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, you feel like you can't be yourself. You can't be inspiring. You can't, you can't do shit. <laughs> but you can, though, with the right person. <laughs> you can, though. How they like that? Yeah. But they, they don't like that, though. They don't like and, and then whenever... I'm also getting the vibes from this King of Sword reverse. Whenever you're happy, this individual literally don't like that when you're happy. When you're trying to have a good time. Always got to be like a bump on the log type of thing. Like, don't like... Man. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let them stay being a bump on the log. They got other logs out there that would literally be a bump right along with them, a bump on the log, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell them go fly a kite, King of Sword. Tell them go fly a kite. Go, go ride a roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go tell them ride a Ferris wheel or a roller coaster. That's what I tell them. Tell them go eat some cotton candy. Go ride a damn roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? Go, go get on a Ferris wheel somewhere else. <laughs> go, go ride the Gravitron or whatever the hell it is like the damn whatever you call it Gravitron 2000 or Starship 2000 <laughs> give a headache from hell 
Mm-hmm. That's something that could go round and around and around and around and around like that. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 <laughs> <laughs> to tell them go spin all their tickets on that ride. They want to go round and around with something. That that ride right there will go around. That's a ride right there in itself. They go round and round and round and round and round and round, round. Good. Let them give them a headache instead of you. You know what I'm saying? With the eight of swords here, they could get a headache from hell. Cause this sound like to me, this is a headache to this king of swords reverse. This is a damn headache. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they they got all kind of rides out there. This is to go out there and ride. Whoever's been doing this to this person, tell them they want to go round around with something. They go jump on the damn gravitron or the, the 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 starship or alien abduction ship or whatever the hell you call it. You know what I'm saying? The alien abduction ship. <laughs> oh, this is getting funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, they probably don't even know how to pop popcorn, right? To be honest with you, they go to put popcorn in the microwave. They got the microwave unplugged. How the hell are you going to pop popcorn with an unplugged microwave? <laughs> Goofy ass people. <laughs> they, when you say, I want fried eggs, baby, they be putting the eggs in the microwave for like 15 minutes and yet the whole damn thing. Boom! You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, bro. You supposed to put that in the damn frying pan on the stove, not in the microwave. Like, what the hell taught you how to do that shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's funny, too. This man need to laugh. Whoever this is going through, you need to laugh. That's what I say. If I don't even know how to cook damn, they, they just, yeah, you scramble eggs all right. Scramble a whole damn... Microwave door open, boom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have your whole damn a, a house smell like eggs and shit. <laughs> I guarantee you one thing, you wouldn't hear the end of it. That really piss them off shit. Oh like, yeah, now you got something now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you really got something to bitch about. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> now you really got something to bitch about. <laughs> oh, my, my house smells like eggs and all this and all that. Well, yeah, you want to scramble the eggs. There you go. You trying to scramble my damn mental senses. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what kind of migraine you could call that one, but uh, you just trying to scramble my mental senses. Senses, you know. <clears throat> I mean, you said you want to scramble eggs. Well, there you go. Make it easier for you. <laughs> oh man. Then when they say they want some toast or whatever, you leave the toast in there for like 30 minutes straight. <laughs> Get you some butter to put on to make it even better. You know what I'm saying? You want some toast? Yeah, we, we you know what I'm saying? We could uh we get some toast in here. <laughs> get you a big old thing of butter. I forgot what you call that, like in a gray bucket, where, where you get like a spoon or whatever, put all kind of butter on it, there you go. <laughs> Crispy, just like that attitude you got, you know what I'm saying? Crispy, crunchy as hell, ah, crunchy as hell, nasty as hell, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It'd be like the whole remix of a damn unskilled Waffle House type shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where the orange you said, baby? Where is that? <laughs> they be sitting there literally cutting the orange open and squeezing juice in the damn cup. There's your orange juice right there. How you like that? <laughs> I love you, bro. <laughs> hey, you can't get in trouble for it. That's how you take your anger out in the positive way. That's how you transmute energy. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> 
You say you want orange juice, I can fix that. You know what I'm saying? Let me pull let, let me pull a quote off that movie hose real quick. I can fix that. You know what I'm saying? Look, cut a cut a <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Let me just go ahead and get this orange real quick. You know, yeah, make an incision right here and pour it in a cup. Yeah, there you go. That's your orange juice right there, baby. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I didn't want it that way. Well, you didn't explain how you want it. You just said you wanted orange juice. Well, there you go. You got an orange. They got the juice out of the orange. There you go. That's orange juice. <laughs> I'm just literally sitting here, bro, like someone has been down in the dumps is what I'm getting. <laughs> Someone is definitely down in the dumps over a situation, but I'm being a guy to use my comical side to cheer this individual up, whoever this is. That's the way I look at the situation. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> this is like the next level of a damn dehydrated, exhausted type of congested, shitty situation that I've ever seen a day of my life right here. <laughs> like, this whole situation is congested as hell. <laughs> This, like, this is nothing but congestion here. <laughs> Conge that's what I'm getting here with the eight of soul. Like, congested, stopped up, congested. You know? <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> what are you gonna do next? Go go get in there, go get in a hot air balloon, go on a vacation by themselves, get in a hot air balloon, and still be unsatisfied because since they want to have their head all up in the damn clouds, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they gonna go take a vacation by themselves, get in a hot air balloon. That's what they gonna do. <laughs> <clears throat> but now I'll tell you how you handle this situation right here. You have to handle it with your comical side. I mean, everybody has different things or whatever, like different ways of handling situations like this. Like this is kind of getting mentally draining. Like this read, but it's not all the way mentally draining, you know? But whoever is going through this rough time right now, that may be an air sign, masculine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that may have had some family issues, whatever, that may be going through a tough time right now, it's going to get better, bro. <clears throat> it will definitely get better. It may feel like you're stuck in a situation right now, but you're going to be able to free yourself out of that. You feel like you can't be yourself or truly be happy. Then simple as that. That's a sign right there that these people really don't care about you or love you like you're supposed to be loved. But that's mainly what I have for the read here, y'all, to be honest with y'all. <laughs> that's what I got to say about the situation. Like, somebody having a problem with somebody being themselves, screw, screw it up even more. Do things the exact opposite way. Hey, I want some scrambled eggs. Okay, I got you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying?
Yeah, the Herophon here. Yeah, this is the higher power here. This is the higher power literally guiding these individuals out of these situations. Because somebody in this, somebody in this situation wants to be spiritual. With the high priestess, and we have the justice right behind the high priestess, and we have the Herophon. They're meant to believe in what they want to believe in. I'll tell you right now, this is going to do their spirit a whole hell of a lot better. They're going to better, better be able to breathe mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and they're going to better get themselves back. And they may also be very excited with returning home where they're originally from. That's going to bring a lot of nostalgia back too. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But anyways, y'all, that's what I have for the read here. That's when I resonate with everybody. Let's see, we have uh, Leo energy here. We have Taurus, we have Aries, we have Scorpio, we have Cancer. Double on the Scorpio energy. <clears throat> what else? Major Arcana. Yeah, I said Cancer, Gemini energy. A double on the Aries, and we have Virgo too. We also have Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus with the uh, Will of Fortune and Aquarius energy here. Okay. But anyways, y'all, this will not uh, resonate with all of y'all out there. But this is what I have for the read. I take it easy out there, collective. Much love to y'all. Thank you very much once again for the love and support. It's greatly appreciated if you want to leave any donations. I will have a link in the description box below to the ones that want to gen uh, genuinely, out of generosity, donate to me. Since I don't do any personal reads, it'd be greatly appreciated. But anyways, y'all take it easy out there, collective. Uh, y'all have a happy, good Friday. For those out there, y'all have a good Easter, a great Easter uh, weekend. Okay, or a good Friday. Y'all enjoy yourself. But anyways, see y'all later, collective. Take it easy. Much love. Peace.